things I shouldn't know. Good morning, Stephanie Cameron, the Stock Whisper here. Today's Daily Dark Pool Whisper of the Day. It is Tuesday. That's right, June 28th. All right, what's going on? Well, we had a tight day yesterday on the SPY. All right, we talked about these two moving averages, the 20 and 30 simple moving average. Uh, thought we might hit them, but we really did not go anywhere. It was a great iron condor yesterday on the SPX. That was the trade of the day, I feel. Today, uh, we might have a repeat. Yep, or you know, we might come and retrace down to the four EMA, or they might try to rally it and finally hit that 20 and 30 simple moving average. So that's where we are, not the best place. Bullish above 391.25, bear below 388. 75 for the spy no new dark pool levels on that yesterday let's head on over to the iwm all right the russell we did tag look at that this morning we tagged the 20 simple moving average the two the uh, the orange guy are we going to hit the 30 or retrace back down bullish above 177.50 bear below 174.80. The Qs were uh, very heavy in dark pool activity yesterday. Yeah, 5.2 million. We got this new level, 294.82. And uh, yeah, we're sitting right on top. Let me just zoom in here. Sitting right on top of the 20 and the 30 simple moving average. So is it going to pull up and go to these next moving averages or is it going to just fail out there? We'll see. Bullish above 296. Bear below 292.50. We are below that recent dark pool level. Almost looks like a a dark cloud cover. Yeah, we didn't quite close. Yeah, let me just zoom in, right? This would have been a dark cloud if we would have closed below half of this candle. We didn't, but it has that um, that picture to it. All right, so let's go to the futures. E-minis, we're using the September expiration. Bullish above 39.42.50 cents and bear below 39.15. We are testing that right now. However, we got ourselves in a sticky situation right now, stuck in between peanut butter and jelly. These two moving averages are very powerful. The 200 simple, we call the jelly. 200 exponential, we call the peanut butter on a five minute chart. There are computers loaded to buy there. So really now I would wait until we go below the jelly there for the next shorting opportunity. Uh, let's head on over to the NASDAQ futures. Bullish above 12.150, bear below 12.050. Oil is, uh, is hot this morning. Yeah, I got two oil stocks on the whisper this morning. We came up to R1, pull back. We're gonna be bullish above that, 112. Yeah, if we could break above that brick wall, uh, we could see higher highs um, for today, and then we're going to be bearish below 110.50. I kind of went in between the pivots. You could also enter here below one, uh, let's see, that would be 110.26. So below 110.25 is another entry. Let's head on over to gold. Gold, we're gonna be bullish above 1830. If it can break above person's pivots right here. Yep, be bullish, bear below 1850. If we go below S1, we're gonna be bearish. Let's check out Bitcoin. It's happening there. We're gonna be bullish above 21,250 today. We got stuck on this uh, box of pivots, we call it. Yep, lots of red pivots to the top and green to the bottom. It creates a box of algos that are buying and selling. It's very tough to trade in the box. You know, we prefer when we go above it or below it. So bear below it, 20,500. Nike had earnings. Did they do it? Mm, I don't think so. Let's check it out. 
Not really. They didn't do it. Uh, we're going to be bullish, though, above 111.50, bear below 107. Keep in mind an older dark pull print at 105. We'll see if they still want to buy down there. Let's go to Amazon. Bullish above 115 today. It's a big level. We did have a dark cloud cover. I was going to add on to the uh, call side of my strangle yesterday, but we did not close strong. Uh, so therefore, I didn't. Waiting for that opportunity. If it happens, if it doesn't, then I won't. Uh, bear below 109. Okay, for Amazon. Let's head on over to Apple. Bullish above 143.50. Bear below 140 for Apple. LI Auto making the list again. This has been super hot today. I spotted a buyer at 39.20 on the ARCA book. Uh, we're going to be bullish above 40.50 and bear below 38.75. Let's go to uh, trip.com. T C O M. Yeah, look at this one. Is it going to be a gap and go higher or a pop and drop? Bullish above 29. Looking at this pocket right here. Bear below 27 for a retrace, a pop and drop. All right, let's check out the oil stocks XLE. Oh, that's not it. No, that's not it either. XLE, bullish above 76. Right now we are testing the 8 EMA. Yeah, it's a brick wall of resistance, but if we break above it, there's our first trade to the upside. Bear below 73 for XLE and MRO had lots lots of volume as well. Bullish above 2425. Bear below 2320. There you have it. Those are June 20 Honda in our training pit at 130 Eastern. Uh, we have Jane presenting in our free room at 1230, The Psychology of Trading. Don't miss out on that. I'm just going to start coming right there, the free room. And I'll have a closing bell today after, after the market closes, 4 o'clock Eastern. I'm over to answer any questions today. So until next time, happy trading, everyone. My secret